And today I'm going to be doing like a first impressions like mini review using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Fantasy eyeshadow palette, Do You Do Drops, and as well as their Invisible Powder, their Invisible Loose Powder. I believe this is their first Invisible Loose Translucent Powder. But I am very excited to show you guys how I received this look. If you're interested in seeing how these items perform and if you want to pick something up from this collection, then please keep on watching. First, going to start off by moisturizing my lips, which I'm very obsessed with. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. It's so good. I got this during the VIB sale. And literally, it comes with so much product, but you need just the tiniest bit. I literally take like this much product right there on my nail, and it covers my whole entire lip. It's so moisturizing. It's a sleeping mask, but I use it whenever I need to use it so good and very slight very smell smell and taste okay so I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes I'm gonna be using my Marc Jacobs not my, Marc Jacobs, my MAC cosmetics prep and prime 24 hour extend eye base and then I'm gonna take my foundation of choice today which is gonna be the Marc Jacobs uh, shameless youthful look 24 hour foundation and this is in the shade light Y210 just like a little dollop on the back of my hand. I'm using my Morphe MB10 brush. I'm gonna blend it out with my Beauty Blender. And I already like primed my face. I did want to show you which primer I used today. Um, I am using some stuff that I bought during the VIB sale. This is the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Filter Finish um, Protective Primer, which is what I used today for my um, primer to like for my pores and everything. This is like such an amazing and cool product. This is my first time using it. This is so cute and it is like the size of my hand. So I did use it today. I use like this little center right here and I use the disc that it came with. And I did just get a little bit of product because it is recommended not to use, almost dropped the lid, not to use too much and I do really enjoy this although I will have to use it a couple more times to have my full um final impressions of it so if you guys want to know what I think about this just um, let me know down below then I also picked up the Marc Jacobs like coconut fantasy line for um, the VB sale so I do have the Marc Jacobs finish finish line perfecting coconut setting powder and as well as the new Marc Jacobs dew drops in fantasy and the iconic um, multi finish eyeshadow palette in I don't even know what color this is in in Fantasine. So I'm excited to use these items today. I didn't get the bronzer because I already do have the bronzer, which I will probably use in this video as well. So I did kind of pick like mostly all Marc Jacob items to use in this video, so I'm excited. Although I'm very, very excited to use um, their loose setting powder. This is such like cute and chic packaging. So I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna open it. I hope this is good. I don't know. I like got my Sephora package a couple days ago, but I was like, I have to do a video on this. And holding back. Okay. Also like the fact that um the lid, this part right here, goes right over the little opening of the powder, of the loose powder, so it doesn't it's not messy or anything. I'm gonna make sure that everything is blended out once more. And then I'm going to take my Luxie 233 Large Fluff, and I'm just going to dip my brush in there because there is some product that came out. There is a slight coconut scent. It smells like any other of their coconut items that they've launched before. So let's go ahead and set it. I'm going to set my whole lid with this powder. And it is translucent, so it shouldn't be like giving me any color. Maybe a little bit, if anything. And then I'm going to set my brows. Does look good so far, but I am just using my eye, doing my eyes right now. 
Okay, so we will come back to this powder, but it does smell so amazing. The next item we're going to use is the Marc Jacobs Iconic Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette in Fantasine. I have tried a couple of the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palettes before, and as well as his, um, his, like, seven palette, like, the longer ones, and they are pretty, pretty good. Marc Jacobs is, like, a... Marc, Marc Jacobs Beauty is really good in general. I do, like all the items that they've come out with and that I've tried. This is the packaging. It's white and it has rose gold detailing on there. Look how pretty. I'm so excited. And then the back it says all the names. I guess these eyeshadows do have names. And you get a mirror and as well as this like white removable thing which I probably will throw away. So here is the palette itself. It's so, so, so pretty. Actually, they, like, named it like this, right? Okay. Look how pretty these shades are. Like, so pretty, so summery, like, so up my alley. I'm obsessed, and I love them, and I can't wait to use them. So, let's get started. I'm going to first start off by using Fantasy, which is this mauve shade right here. I'm also going to be using my Morphe M502, taking the light baby pink mauve shade on my brush. I'm gonna try to do my makeup off of this right here. So I'm just gonna first, oh wow, it's pigmented. First gonna use this as my transition shade, so it's fine if it gets everywhere. just wanted to start warming up my crease. So far so good. These eyeshadows don't have a lot of scent though. four matte shades in this palette so the first three and then this one right here and the there are three shimmery shades I believe this one right here that golden shade is called meet ya and this is like probably a metallic shade and um, these two right here are just like shimmers so this is like really good for like traveling and everything if you just get a palette they do have a good range of these palettes and I do want to try the rest of them I have Lolita and that's a really good one too um, but I know they like revamped the whole um, I what are these called? The Iconic Multi Eyeshadow Palette. So I'm excited. I haven't tried the new ones, but I definitely did want to grab this because of the special white packaging and these shades are so beautiful. They have one that has a palette with a blue in it and I've been wanting to try that. So beautiful. So right now, not taking any extra product, I'm just going to try to further blend this out even more. Just make it look extremely diffused. That is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try to deepen this shade up just a little bit more. Try to just deepen it up even more. This time I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M753. And I'm gonna focus this in the outer corners. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this shade. This is called Cobets right here. This is like a mauve shade with some cool toned like gray with it. Just a little bit in there, so it gives it some depth. You know, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little bit of, like, gray depth in there now. Just, like, a dimension. I'm really just, like, stabbing this into my, the deepest sockets of my crease. Okay, that is really good. I'm really impressed right now. So next I'm going to take my kind of like a 217 type brush. I'm going to start it off with the Bedellium Tools at 776. I'm going to be taking the darkest matte shade in which is called For More, which is like a reddish tone. So I'm just going to pat this shade down first and then slowly do small circular motions to bring it in. And then I'm just kind of feathering this, um, the shade out to my brow so it's like, um, nicely f blended. Now I'm going to go back with my Morphe M502 and start blending it out. I'm really excited because I do really want to use this shade right here, which is called Meet Ya. It looks like a very metallic-y, orangey bronze color. It's going to look so pretty, I feel like, and then I want to use this color next to it. Um, called She Said as an Inner Corner Highlight. So, 
Let's do this. And I'm going to spray my ColourPop Amethyst um, Crystal Priming Spray on it. That's pretty, but I think I want to use my fingers to apply this. I feel like the pigmentation will go on. Wow, do you guys see that? Pretty. Okay. I will need to use the brush for the inner corner though just because my nails are a little too long. Let me go ahead and do the other eye first and then we can fix the inner corners together. Beautiful that is. It's like a sunset color. She does have like um some kickback though more than the other shades. I feel like because this is more like a chunky kind of glitter. Or like a metallic shade which is why it's like having a lot of fallout which is fine. And now I'm going to take my ColourPop um, blending brush. I'm just going to slowly diffuse the edges and then go over. I kind of want to diffuse it um, just a little bit. I still want that rounded shape that I created because it like kind of shapes my eye. And then I'm going to blend down a little bit here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Bedellium Tools 781, which is a pencil brush, fluffy pencil brush. I'm going to take four more once again, and this will just give it a more detailed smoke that I can blend in. I'm super impressed. So this is the Fantasine eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in um, to my face makeup now. I do want to use the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops in Fantasy. I do have the Do You Dew Drops. Um, I think it's just called Do You. I, think. I don't know. I don't know if it has a name on it. And this one has the Rose Gold Trimming here. I wanted to show you my gold one, the first one that came out. Yeah, this is just called Do You? Question mark. And this is how it looks like. They're both really, obviously, really similar, just different colors. And the trimming or lining is different. And I love this. Literally love it. And I'm so glad they made this permanent. I do have a video on this, so check it out. I feel like this um, matches a lot of skin tone too, but this is obviously rose gold, so it is a little bit deeper, which is going to be a little harder when you're like more pale, like light to medium possibly. But if you're like like medium deep to like deep, it's going to be fitting to your skin tone because obviously it is a deeper in shade. I feel like sometimes the dew you might have looked a little streaky or, or gray on um, people who had deeper skin tones because it was kind of lighter so this is literally like a metallic highlight like a gel so beautiful I'm gonna take this beauty blender um, I usually use it to set my under eyes I'm just gonna take a little bit of it let me so this is what it looks like it's got deeper shade I'm gonna apply this to the center of my cheek I'm oh, not center the high tops of my cheeks Although, this is deeper, and I'm really pale right now. This does blend in. Obviously, you can see it, since it's a deeper shade. I'd be very careful where you apply this if you are lighter, because you can, like, really see it if you don't blend this out, you know? It's so pretty, though. It smells the same, performing the same as the Do You. Yeah, you can totally see that on my chin. Oh my gosh. Okay. Very beautiful, I would have to say, but... It is very beautiful, I do have to say, but obviously because I'm lighter, it's you can really tell that it's on my skin. I knew I did have this. I did know that it was going to be deeper um, in like a rose gold shade, so I, I was like prepared to like not be able to wear this. It's although... If you blend it out a lot, I mean, you can't really tell, but I am putting my foundation on top, so it should help it just a little bit. If you have, like, my skin tone or lighter, this would be, or sorry, I am pretty light already. So light to medium would be, um, I would suggest the Do You, and then if you're, like, medium deep to deep, I would suggest the Rose Gold called Fantasy. I feel like that'd be really good for the skin tones, or, you know, on your body, your shoulders, some little shine. Yeah. So I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs, um... What is it called again? Shameless Youthful Foundation. That says such a long name. I'm just gonna apply it. I 
feel like this foundation is making me look very ghostly right now, but no worries. Once it like sinks in, it will like look fine. I bet I promise. I've used this foundation in other videos before. So now I'm going to use my Wet n Wild concealer. This is the Photo Focus concealer in medium peach. I'm just trying to like use this up. I used up the medium or light medium shade that I really like. So I do like this concealer, but I'm not a fan of the shade, but I'm going to do what I usually do with it. Just, this also um, helps with covering up the darkness under my eyes because it is like a peachy tone. Just because I like the finish of this concealer, I put it on my nose. And now I'm going to highlight. I'm going to be using my Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape in Light Neutral in Light Sand. I'm going to take Light Sand first, and I've really cut down on using um, this concealer, like a lot of it. So I just dab some here, here, and then here. And then I'm going to take the light neutral shade. Okay, so it kind of looks like I have some markings on my face. So, let's blend this out. Since all the concealer is blended out, I'm going to bake with my Marc Jacobs Invisible Finish Line Coconut Perfecting Powder. The only thing with this is like I don't know how to get the powder out so I have to like kind of like hit it a little bit. Making sure there's no creased concealer. I'm going to take my Purple Beauty Blender and grab some product. I'm, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure like I didn't really read what this was supposed to do. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's like good to bake but... I need to bake. I'm very oily and I, my under eyes get creased a lot, so every loose powder that I get, I typically use it to bake. I've let the powder sit for just a little bit and it did like sink in a lot, but I also did not get a lot of powder out. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 120 Classic Ivory. I'm about out but I do get gratification in using all of the product so I, I also get gratification when I start hitting pan on a product is that just me let me know down below I am gonna take my morphe e48 brush I'm just like literally rubbing the edges of this powder to get all of it so I'm just going to pat starting with my under eyes and then buff out Oh, my under eyes look really good. Okay, I will like move in a little bit once I'm done with my other under eye. So grabbing more product. It looks so like soft and like all of my pores are filled in, although I did use a pore like minimizer primer but it looks so soft and it blended in very nicely i just want to touch the powder a little bit so i have some and it's like very finely milled i love the um mark jacobs like bronzers and everything because you like just touch them sorry i broke my mirror and then you just rub it in and it's so velvety soft and you just like keep rubbing your fingers and it's like never ending so that's why i love the mark jacobs um powders and everything i only have that powder um i haven't really tried i'm not quite sure if they have a powder foundation i think they do but i'm really impressed by this so let me just set the rest of my face i'm going to take the same powder and then recently i've been loving adding my hourglass ambient lighting powder in diffused light and i'm like also hitting pan on this too so i take my bedellium tools 985 and i literally just like grab a lot then whatever i can on this powder Probably not much since I'm like only getting the ends. And then I just pat my face. And then after I had done like patting the whole section of my face, I like to just swirl. Sorry if I'm looking down, my mirror is down there. This time I like to start bronzing up my face because I feel like I look very one dimensional now. I will be taking my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronze in Coconut Perfect. They do um, have this on Sephora.com right now, but I believe it is sold out. This um, I got this last year, and they have that silver 
wording, but the one that they are currently selling right now is rose gold detailing. Um, but I believe I heard that they are keeping this for like permanently, um, and it'll just be back in the silver packaging. White packaging, silver wording. I'm going to be taking my Morphe M435. I literally love this brush. Love it for um, bronzing up my face. I need to get like 10 backups of this. And it's so big. So it's a very neutral bronzy color too. So it goes well with a lot of skin tones. I've also used this bronzer in a lot of my videos prior. So I'm sure you have seen me use it before. Literally when I first got it I was obsessed with it. Although I still am obsessed with this item. I've just started using other bronzers. Because obviously after summer. Like after they sold out. They weren't selling it again. So I was scared that I couldn't get my hands on it. But I'm glad that. It is now a permanent item. And I've had this since last summer, like, not even close to hitting pan yet. I don't even feel like I'm going to hit pan. So now I'm going to start contouring my face. I'm using the Balm Highlight and Contour Palette. And then I'm just obviously using those two contour shades. Using my MAC 109. Okay, that looks very strong right now, but I will fix that. Morphe E1. I'm gonna blend this out just a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back in with the Marc Jacobs powder and I'm going to carve it out. The only thing that like, I'm like kind of struggling with with this powder is that not enough comes out of that little sifter it has. I am highly impressed. I also have used the new Hourglass loose setting powder and I really do like that one as well and then I'm gonna apply some eyeliner taking my Marc Jacobs highliner gel eye crayon in brown out I purchased a new one during the VIB sale and I'm just gonna do that and as well as apply my Maybelline Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara and my Coco Lashes Goddess Lashes and I'll be right back. I have my lashes on and now I'm going to apply some eyeliner uh, eyeshadow on my lower lashes. I'm probably going to take four more right here with my Morphe M432. Just take a little bit of it to start. Take a little bit. Smudging it. I'm going to take my Dose of Colors shader brush to blend it out. Transition shade in Fantasy, that light mauve, with my Dose of Colors shader brush. And kind of just use that to apply in the very bottom. Okay, and now I'm going to apply some blush. This is the Marc Jacobs um, Flesh in Fantasy. I'm going to take the Morphe M556. This blush right here is so pretty. It's like a mauve color with a nude. They're the blush duos, obviously, and it just gives a really pretty sheen. Then I'm going to highlight my inner corners. I'm taking my Morphe M43, making this color called She Sh <laughs> She Said, which is like a really pretty shimmery um, pink with the golden and blue like undertones and reflexes. I'm going to like spray it a little bit just to amp it up, and let's see how this goes. Do you see that? So cute. Now I'm going to set my brow. I am using my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer Mascara in medium brown. And obviously for my brows, I'm using all Benefit um, Cosmetics brow stuff. Do you like the bushy brows for this look? Mm. been loving 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 using my Dior 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 skin nude luminizer in 003 which is the pretty gold color and then I've been loving to apply my highlighter with the Morphe M405 which is like an angled brush Ooh, look how pretty that is see even with this brush
I'm going to set my face using my Scandinavia The Makeup Finishing Spray. Oh, I'm back. I applied some mascara on my lower lashes. It is the L'Oreal Telescopic, and I also applied my lip. Obviously, I was really excited. I've been loving, loving, loving this combo lately. This is the I Love Study X Color Pop Lip Liner, or sorry, Lippy Stick in Kirby. And then this is the Dose of Colors Truffle. I love Dose of Colors um, liquid lipsticks, and I love Truffle. I've been literally wearing it every single day of my life for like a month and a half straight, probably. It's an amazing color, and I love, love, love it. It like, goes with everything. It's a pretty mauve cool toned color. Not really cool toned, but it's really pretty. Let's talk about the three coconut fantasy items that I am going to talk about today. Um, let's talk about the powder. I am really loving the powder so far. I will have to get back to you guys. I'll probably leave in the comments or maybe in the description box how I like it throughout the day. I do like it applied onto my face um, so far. Let me check the mirror. So far, everything looks really good. I... Yeah. So far, so good. I will have to update you guys on how I like it later on in the day just because it is like still early since I did my makeup so I can't tell you if I really 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 final reviews love it um but so far I do like it and then the eyeshadows I'm gonna say eye makeup the eyeshadows I love this like it's so pretty it's so pretty prizzy it was so pretty and it's so easy to blend out it's amazing I do really like the Marc Jacobs eyeshadow formulas I have had their holiday palettes too and they're very consistent with their eyeshadow formula and uh, in every palette they've had because sometimes when companies do come out with big eyeshadow palettes um, during holiday or during like big events stuff like that they aren't the same um, performance as they are in their regular palettes but these are amazing. I love them and they perform the same as any other of the Marc Jacobs iconic eyeshadows that I've tried so far. So this is really pretty. I do recommend getting these if you are in need of trying some new eyeshadows. Especially if you have been wondering about the Marc Jacobs brand for a little bit. I do highly recommend trying this eyeshadow palette. And then for the Rose Gold Do You Do Drops. Or sorry, Fantasy Do You Do Drops. I love the packaging, really pretty, and I do like this because I do like my regular Do You Do Drops that I got last year. That's really pretty, and that works with me um, throughout the year, even when I'm tan, but I do feel like sometimes when I'm tanner and my self tans, so I have to match my get a darker foundation. This will be a better match for me just because I am lighter right now, so it was more prominent on my face, which is fine because this is rose gold, so it is a high, high rosy gold tone which is still nice. I did um, layer under my foundation, which made the foundation very like glowy and everything, but also I did apply highlighter on top, but I do like it. This blends out really pretty. It's like a gel effect highlighter, and it's metallic, very pigmented, very smooth, buttery, and it blends into the skin. I do recommend maybe using it on the skin during the summer or anything like that, because it will just let your body glow, and it's amazing, and you will you can apply it over makeup, a full face of makeup, and it still won't, like, lift or pull your makeup off. I did a video on the Do You Do Drops when I first got it, like, last year, I believe. Amazing, and I highly recommend checking that video out, because I used it, like, under makeup, on top of makeup, like, just everything you can possibly imagine how to use a highlighter. I went there. I, obviously, I do love the coconut um, Tantastic bronzer. It's amazing. I'm glad they're going to make it permanent to their line. It's amazing, and I can't say enough about it, so I'd highly recommend getting it once these items come back in stock on Sephora, or if they already are in stock on Sephora, I do recommend picking an item up or two. If you don't wear eyeshadow, then maybe the bronzer. If you don't like bronzer and you like a more glowy skin, maybe the dew drops. And if this is too dark for you, try the Do You Do Drops. It's like 50 Do You Do Drops. This one is 52 Fantasy Do Drops. So, yeah. And that is all for this tutorial and this like mini review first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And follow me on my social medias to keep updated on what I'm doing. Because I know I haven't posted in a while. But yeah, I'll see you guys next. I'll see you guys in my next video.